Hey guys, how are you today? A friend of a friend of mine in LinkedIn asked me about the equipment that I have and I remembered that I made a comparison of two of the airbrushes that I use but not the main garden that I'm using. I'm going to be showing you uh, what I'm using as uh, for every important project that I have and later on during the summer I'm going to be reviewing the cheap airbrush that I use for most of my models. Uh, in between this I'm going to uh, squeeze the daily equipment for a basic uh, work on a model that I use too, which is different from the advanced ones for photo edge, bending and so on, but uh, you'll see further in the video. So let's get on to it. So this is the box of it. I keep it pretty clean and neat because I like that gun and I use it mostly for my uh, important work. As you can see I don't even use the cup. I usually do use the one that I fit from the other airbrush. We have a wrench here for this assembly and it's uh, branded Iwata. Everything looks nice. And this is the Iwata HPC Plus model, which is one of the most popular airbrushes on the market. I bought it for like $165, I think, uh, directly from Japan, and it was delivered for about two weeks. I'm not sure what the RL means here. But I think that's a series of the productions of the airbrushes. So it's a pretty heavy gun, actually. It's, the trigger is also heavy. It has an adjustment from behind. And uh, you have a cutaway here to be able to unscrew the thing that holds the needle into place. Uh, you can unscrew the the crown and as you can see the needle here it is used for um, fine airbrushing when you need to paint fine lines you unscrew this cap and then you paint it like that with the needle only it's a dangerous thing to do because you can always uh, damage the needle but uh, in order to make the finest possible lines that is the way to do it and you gotta take the risk. The thing that I like most of this airbrush is the cup because if you can see here it has it's not polished inside but it has some coating which prevents the paint to stick uh, which compares to the cheapo Chinese brush uh, and makes that a lot of better investment compared to that. Uh, their airbrushes are uh, easily worn off inside here and the way that uh, paint goes it's uh, somewhat uh, more difficult than the Iwata's. I think the Harder and Stanbeck airbrush are even better in that matter but it's been like six years since I used one and I'm not sure what was the case there. They are fine guns too as well, so... Uh, well, that's the airbrush that I'm using. We have a sheet in the box that shows uh, from thick to fine, as you can see the lines that painted with that exact airbrush, because this is what that represents, are pretty fine. And it's doable if you thin your paint properly, you'll be able to achieve these results easily. The next thing I'll be showing you is the uh, on the road toolbox that I'm using and this is going to be the short description of my tools so let's get on to it. Cutters, you need those, everybody knows, same files. I use those two, scalpel, pair of tweezers, another pair of tweezers super glue and sometimes even sometimes that I'm on the road I'm doing a 
scratch work I'm using this pin vise or whatever this drill is called but those micro drills so this is the toolkit that I use for most of my models of course there are a lot of additional stuff like for example or bending photo edge parts I use those and many more but I'm not gonna be bothering with, uh, you with uh, this information today that's only for the guy that asked for my tools so I hope that uh, you got the idea so that was it this is the airbrush that I'm using uh, and I like best the other airbrush that I'm going to be showing you quite soon is the tier version of uh, Revolution from Iwata, which is a wonderful gun, uh, but I gave that to my friend, which started mulling with the best uh, airbrush ever, uh, which is that exact tier one. However, I prefer to use that one, which uh, resembles the pen, because I found it uh, to be more useful when painting freehand camo and that is one of my favorite things to do so uh, up until next time if you have any questions feel free to ask and see you soon